Ima. The story of homegrown hero Terry Fox is so familiar to British Columbians that some might take its impact for granted, but not so for a family of new Canadians who were spotted by Mike McArdle today at the Terry Fox Memorial in downtown Vancouver. We all know about him. We all grew up with him. We all want to be strong like him. Someday, so will she. His name is what? Dancer. She is four years old and just starting to learn. Just like her mother and her aunt, they did not grow up with Terry Fox. She said, when the first time I heard that, I was very sad. I feel really bad. That is a translation from the language of Afghanistan. They have been here less than a handful of years. Terry Fox has just entered their lives. Can you tell your mommy if, if he's a real, if, if, if you really like Terry Fox? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yes, what I like. But she always see in the television. For right now, she saw her food, so for her, it's very surprise. And then she called me, she wanted to take a picture with him. I was like, I don't have any camera. And then she said, it's okay, you can take my picture in your phone. I was like, <laughs> okay, fine. That television image, the same one that has been running since 1980 when Terry began running across the country, the image that brought together a nation. It was that artificial leg that everyone wanted to hug, at least in their hearts. Nothing has changed. If people has a that problem, so they can't do anything. But he's very strong. He did a big job. We blinked for a moment, and little one was back there. She's learning about him in preschool. Her mother and her aunt are learning from her. What did you just say? I just want to be very strong, same as Terry Fox. Everyone <laughs> should be proud of self. Thank you so much. Thank you, and you're right. Terry Fox died in 1981, before any of them were born. The story has just begun again.